Shalom, I can preserve him, go to Yehovah, Hashem, or Shabbat, Hashem, or Kokodash. I'm honored to meet someone, so I fish in the lip. Now, let's get to right now, Akim. Now, we touched about a little bit in the, during camp, and during last camp, I want to bring out more of the chairs of the Most High, bro. Now, people think these UFOs are part are part of the are part of the Illuminati or the or an alien race or some shit, bro. Honestly, those chariots are the most high, man. They're not some alien life form, extraterrestrial, ET, none of that, bro. You need to pair it up there. And prove it though. This is Zechariah five, sort of I'll start with verse one and read. Then I turn and lift up my eyes and look. And behold, a flying roll. Hey, at this time, they're trying to best describe how to describe the cherry map. I mean, they didn't have their own UF. They didn't have the word for UFO. They just what they had was well, the best way to describe it—a UFO man. That's to compare missiles, uh, the, the missiles as arrows. Verse two, and he answered. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answer, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Not too big the chariot was, man. No matter how like how big it was. It was like literally just small, like some little small little no no. Truly, the chariots are in the scriptures. These UFOs are in the scriptures. The chariots are most high. And that's something to come down as, man. In fact, you get revelations. Pretty sure every brother knows the scriptures. No scripture, but it is previous again, man. Revelation 1 verse 7 reads, Behold, he come with clouds. He's coming in the clouds, bro. He's coming with the clouds. He's coming with that big chariot. And every eye saw see him. So how most I can get to every single person, if it is one person, well, he's going to have that big play of force. That big mass, bro. Now be that chariot. And they also which pierce him. And all kindred of the earth shall well because of him, even so, Amen. That's perfect description of the chariot, bro. Perfect description of how these chariots are gonna be, man. Most of come back and need that mothership. Now what what mothership means is all it means is habitation. And they come back and they see and what and all this whole planet is gonna see like damn that's Mosai came back, bro. Yahweh, Yahweh, and the son Yahweh Shai came back for elect men. And Mosai only we are part of that elect. I said that, oh, you know, chariots in the Mosai religion. I hear some other dumb shit, really. Like, oh, the chariots are of demons, the UFOs. This and that, bro. Oh. Mm, man. Mm. Now, if you guys read the scriptures, it tell you what the chariots are. The chariots are the most high. It's Isaiah. Suck. I don't keep turning down. Isaiah 19 and verse 1. And reads the burden of Egypt. Behold, the most high rideth on a swift cloud. And then that cloud again. Like how to describe this thing that's flying in the air? Well, like it's sort of a cloud because it's high up in the air. That's that's the best way to describe it, man. In fact, before I finish that, oh my, he phone keeps shutting off. Before I finish up with that, I'm gonna read this to the one in verse nine, and it reads. The thing that happened is that what shall be, and that which is done is that which it shall be done, and there's no new thing under the sun. That's how it is, bro. These do you know that like, all oh, planes are in modern day? No, bro. These planes aren't new. You know, the planes are. There is a form of the chariots, bro. Most I got a better one of that, man. It wasn't possible, no, bro. It's, if these planes and the internet, it's nothing new to this world, bro. It existed before. Back I was in Isaiah. Isaiah. 
19 of verse 1. And it reads, Behold, it's like, it's like, it's like, and the burden of Egypt, Egypt, behold, the most high ride upon his swift cloud. It's like, it shall come to Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be removed at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the mist. The point here is that he rides upon his swift cloud, the most high rides upon his swift cloud, that big ass chariot, bro. I'm gonna get. I guess one more that literally talks about it basically in great detail. This is Numbers 9, start at verse 15. And it reads, And on the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, namely the tent of the testimony, and that even the even was upon the tabernacle and appeared in the it was, like, as the, it was appearance of fire until the morning. So that was how it was like you know the UFO shoot up big as beam. Hey, that what it is that when I say fire like going you know, it's appearance like going you know, whole beam like, how bright and bring that level like a fire man. And the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle. Now by this Christianity look how is it was my going on because I'm just face value. How can a cloud do that? How can a cloud that's above the chariot also have the appearance of fire showing down on it? Come on. Verse 16. And so it was always the cloud covered by day and the appearance of fire by night. So back then they saw they saw the chariot, bro. Back then, they did saw they just me like this cloud that's covered, that always covered it, always there, day and night. At night, it was a big ass being a fire, being a fire. You know, the you know, big beams that we talk that we can hear, man, bro. How is it not the chariot? Verse 17 And the cloud was taken from the tabernacle, and then after the children of Israel journeyed, 